so I wanted to do a little product review for the Skull Caliber ring. So I just wanted to bring you guys along and show you the design and then how it turned out in the cast. So this is what that design looked like. I have a matte cap metal material here, so it'll look a little bit more similar than if I were to use my regular materials. So <clears throat> a little bit easier to see the similarities and differences here. So you can see I have a couple pretty small details here, but I just wanted to show you the ring and then go over the actual cast itself. So we're going to switch to that. So before I show you the actual design itself, um, as a silver piece, I wanted to show you the 3D print, show you there were a couple differences here. So the sword obviously is not on this, but you can see that I had actually broken it off. So <clears throat> it was very, very tiny, and I re-edited the file to make a much larger sword. I actually had um, part of the sword coming through the bottom too, and I didn't really like how that sat with my fingers, so I just got rid of that part and just had it uh, coming through the top. And so now if we look at the piece here, actually cast in silver, you can see I made that sword quite a bit larger. So it used to be very, very small. You can barely see the nub of the, the sword there where I broke it off. But that's the finished silver piece. I ended up adding some like scratches and trying to make it look quite a bit more rustic um, because I thought that that fit better with the style of this ring. You can see with a couple of the other designs, I didn't really want to go with a scuffed look because, I don't know, they're just beautiful pieces, but anyways, that is the Skull Caliber ring.